Hey guys, it's Thursday. What time is it? 1.30. John is over at a job interview for a place that is closer um, than Flagstaff. So he should be back in a little bit. The job is a, a it's shift work. It's going to be a weekend thing. I don't know. He'll, he'll have to decide if he wants to take it. It means that he would have to step down from worship ministry at least for a little while. This would be a foot in the door for him. So We'll see. I'll, I'll let him decide what he wants to do with that. Anyway, we're having trees cut down today. You can see right there. So we're having this one tree in the middle of the yard cut down. That one we're having cut down. Uh, we just decided that for every tree we planted, we were gonna cut another one down. And we only planted three, but we're having uh, one, two, three, four. We're having five cut down just because we're planning in the future to plant two more trees. So let me show you real quick. Right uh, there is that where that white thing is. That's the new little tree we planted. So there's a tree on the far right over there. That one's coming down. Not that one. This one's coming down. Then there's our new trees. You can see that one is coming down. And then that evergreen over there is coming down. I don't know why John wants the evergreen to come down, but he does. But the other ones are coming down because we just figured that if it was, those are ash trees, and we just figured that if all they're going to do is provide us leaves that we have to rake, um, then why have them? So um, we just, we figure if we're going to plant trees, they're going to be fruit trees. They're going to give us something in return. So we will only have fruit trees then over on that one strip. So look at this, you guys. It's Friday morning. We had a huge windstorm last night. And can you see my willow tree? Like branches just broke off. And there's branches all over the ground. Okay, this is the wild thing. The wild thing. Where the wild things are. So this is the wild thing. Um, right there where that, uh, there's a little... There's a stand there and there's a little solar light. Well, the stand broke and so the so that wasn't from last night, but the stand was um, broken. So we took the solar light off of it and there was also a metal tub hanging from the stand. Um, so we took that off too when the stand broke and it was sitting on the ground and look at this. The metal tub blue over there it's <laughs> just it was a crazy storm look at this you guys now there are three eggs the third one was laid yesterday or maybe it was the day before so i'm thinking maybe three is all we're gonna get because she was seemed to be laying them um every day but uh let's hope with my little <laughs> A uh, little blockade of bricks to remind us where these are. Let's hope that these guys make it. Guys, um, I am going to go and gas up my new car. Did I say new car? Do you want to see my new car? Let me show you. Okay, this is my new car. It is a Hyundai Sonata Hybrid Limited, and it's a 2014. Um, let me show you. This is how... It looks on the inside. It's got a lot of bells and whistles. It's got a keyless entry and keyless start and, um, you know, a backup camera and a and GPS and all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm super excited about it. We got a good deal on it and um, that combined with the fact that I got a decent um, amount of money back from the wreck of my Lexus, um, we didn't have to pay too much money for this car. Okay, you guys, I'm over at my, well, she's, the cattle rancher has become my friend, so I'm down at her house because we're gonna feed the baby. So she's got the mama and baby penned up here so she can keep an eye on them. And um, anyway, uh, you know, I'm looking at Louise's um, udder, which still looks enormous, but if I look at the are they called teats? I, I think so. Um, anyway, if I look at them, they were so stretched out and like so completely full, like they were going to rupture the other day. And they don't look that way now. She's still huge. But um, 
Anyway, not sure why she hasn't been able to um, release the milk. Um, like she's getting clogged up and stuff, so I don't, I don't know. But, um, but anyway, here's the baby, and apparently Louise is being a good mama and licking her, and even like here, the baby's going near her, and Louise isn't kicking her away. She's tried to nurse. Um, I don't think much of anything comes out, but um, Louise is clearly not as sore as she was, and so she's um, not trying to keep the baby away. But anyway, so my friend is going inside to get the bottle. Hi. Look at your little face. It's very cute. You have a very cute little face. Yes, you do. Yeah. Are you getting hungry? Are you getting hungry there? Yeah. Thank you. So oh. here we have Jen. She's <laughs> bottle feeding our little girl Molly, who is four days old now. Oh, you named her? I did, little Molly. Good golly, oh. Miss Molly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at you, baby. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so is that what they do, like to get the udder to they do. release milk? Yep, they hit that top of the udder, mm -hmm. and then it, it does help to release it. So she's going to do that a lot and probably knock it right out of your hand. <laughs> yeah, I'll try not to. <laughs> okay, you guys, I just finished feeding my first cow. <laughs> Life on the farm. Okay, here's Fat Jack on the left and Curly on the right, and they're being very noisy. They make the weirdest noise. Now they're going to be quiet. They sound like they're choking. Hi, you guys. Um, so I've been out there for a while over at Shalise's house because um, her electric fence wasn't working and um, and we never did we I was just watching a couple of the neighbor guys came over and never did figure it out so she's just hoping the cows don't get out tonight but um, I found out that uh, she's not planning to use the little baby girl cow um, for a meat cow she's uh she just said oh, i just can't um and i said i said you know i said if you don't watch out i said if you don't quit naming these cows you're gonna end up with a petting zoo and a zoo and not a, a beef cattle business and uh she said well i think i'm gonna sell her to be a pet <laughs> so anyway um i can't even imagine having a, a massive cow as a pet but anyway, I'm going back home. Sorry it's so dark. Hey guys, it's Saturday. We are cleaning up a lot of the mess from the willow tree, what happened to it in the windstorm. And what we found is that the cows like the willow uh, leaves. So here I'm holding some over the fence. I've been giving them a lot. Annabelle got so filled with them that she walked away. But And that little baby bull, he, w he didn't really quite know what to do. He was just licking them. Okay, I have to show you, this is the Kildare. She's mad that I'm, look at her. Or him or whatever, fanning out tails. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you. And then I'll let her have her nest back. But there are now four eggs in there. And that's I think that's the limit of what they usually lay. So we'll let her have her babies back. Okay, I left this grocery bag on the counter. And uh, Mary has decided that it's a fun place to be. Oh, until she realized I was talking to you guys and then she had to come say hello. Well, you guys, I think I'm going to end this vlog for this week. Today is Sunday. Okay, come on in, Chad. So today's Sunday. We're having um, a friend over for dinner tonight, and so I'm just kind of working on some stuff for that. I'm making burgers for um, for them and um, John, and I'm, then I'm making those uh, buffalo roasted cauliflower, bu buffalo cauliflower things. Um, so... Uh, that's what I will be having. Oh, I also got myself some portobello mushrooms so I could put them in a 
burger bun as well, and that's what I'm gonna have. So yeah, just kind of, what time is it? It's about 20 minutes to four, just doing some things around the house. But anyway, you guys, um, hope you're doing well, and we'll see you in the next vlog.